Well, I generally write for a 12-year-old me, or in the case of the Lie Tree, a 14-year-old me. And I remember being that age extremely vividly. I write the sort of books that I would have enjoyed reading, and I did have a taste for the fantastical. I loved a sense that the ordinary world could slide into something more fascinating, but also perhaps more dangerous. The Lie Tree can best be described as a sort of Victorian Gothic murder mystery, but with more paleontology, scepticism, post-mortem photography and feminism. I set it on an island because I wanted to create a sense of being trapped. I chose the Victorian period for a number of reasons. One being that there's an emphasis on facades, on respectable exteriors, on socially condoned lies. And also because at that point, because of treaties like the Origin of Species, there were a lot of people clinging to certain untruths. I've got a lot of respect for my younger readers. I think a lot of people underestimate them. I think a lot of younger readers have no trouble dealing with dark themes, complexity, interesting and complex moral questions and inventive language. <laughs>